bizarre quotes by the mayor basically uh, uh, responding to the public out there. Who is the worst on the city council in Austin when it comes to laughing at people and making jokes about this? I would, there's multiple ones. And I, w I would say the mayor is the most disrespectful. And uh, also my opponent texts while people are presenting, pouring their heart out to, to both. And both of them are, are really um, disrespectful to citizens. And you know, what really bothers me about the city council is you will go and present to them information for three minutes, you get done, there's no response. It's as if you are in a vacuum. They don't even respond to you. No, no, back when we got the city council to throw out the Patriot Act, we didn't have the votes till I spoke, and it is one of the most uh, more eloquent speeches I've given. But the mayor goes, I'm not going to sit here while you give your speech. I'm going to be back there. And he yeah. gets up and walks off the dais, and, but I was able to reach out to the, the one swing vote and get them to vote to nullify the Patriot Act here in town. And it was more ceremonial than anything, but it just shows the extreme arrogance. And, and that was another mayor uh, before this guy, but he really is a joke. Talk about somebody on a, a power trip. Uh, Lee Leffingwell is a, is a joke, not just to Texas, but the entire country. He's a, a, a true shame to the human race. Now, uh, Doc, uh, we're talking to Laura Presley, who's running for city council here in Austin, Texas. We'll tell you how to get involved in that in a moment. Hopefully, this will spur others to run in their area. Let's get into UT, though. We had a big victory there, and I was reading the Statesman, where they admitted it's much worse for women and blacks, for whatever reason, the chemistry shows, and that now they're going to provide water fountains that don't have fluoride. Nicer restaurants are now advertising. They don't have it. It's catching on. It is catching on. And UT, I testified to the UT student government. It's a group of students, undergrad and graduate students, um, representatives on to the student government and many of us from fluoride free Austin presented the data and this is the way it should happen Alex people should look at this information make a good discernment of whether does it make sense does it make not sense and make a decision and they made a decision very quickly and it was just it was so shockingly different than the city council that they don't look at the data and they pull up old information and, and just ignore us but this was really excellent you had Technical students, you had business students, you had, you know, liberal arts students all looking at the information and they made a decision. You know what? We should have several fountains in at UT Austin that offer no fluoride because you have sensitive groups. Women are sensitive to hypo, hy, hypothyroidism. You have Hispanics and African Americans that are very sensitive to diabetes and kidney kidney diseases. And those people are who we're And this is the beginning of them seeing the real science and then demanding water fountains that don't have poison in it, just like the elite don't drink fluoride water. They don't eat GMO at the Monsanto facilities. It's Associated Press. Their scientists demand non-Monsanto food in the cafeteria. So it's begun. I mean, the, but talk about all the other cities, what's going on. Whole cities are throwing it out. Right, and, and I'll tell you one thing. Rick Perry, his, his facility, his home there is all uh, fluoride-free and all reverse osmosis. So he knows not to drink it here in, here in, here in Austin. Yeah, there's some great progress that's being made like i mentioned earlier new hampshire is is amazing they their their house and their senate passed um, a fluoride statement that's going to be required in their consumer reports um, for their public water supplies and i'm going to read it your public water supply is fluoridated according to centers for D disease control and prevention if your child under the age of six months is exclusively consuming infant formula reconstituted with fluoridated water there may be an increased chance of dental fluorosis consult your child's health care provider for more information it's a little watered down so to speak, but at least it gets the information out there. And at least you can get the councils to do one thing and admit the fluorosis, not the IQ reduction, the brain damage, the cancer, exactly. which is also admitted, but at least something. At least something. At least it's a first step. The door is opening. This is a huge victory. Yeah. The camel's nose is under the tent. But I mean, look at one of the biggest counties, uh, a million people in, in Florida, uh, the, yes. the county right by Tampa. Uh, you've got uh, uh, Calgary. It, it's happening everywhere. It's happening in a lot of places, and we want Austin to be the next place. College Station, very close to us, where A and M is, they got their water, uh, got fluoridation out of their water. Why can't Austin? Lago Vista outside Lago Austin. Vista, several, several. Areas it's happening. Now. We can beat them, just like we beat not allowing uh, uh, farm children to do chores. You know, uh, again, and they'll be back, but we've got to fight them again. That's the thing. We don't give up, and fluoride free Austin is not going to give up. And by getting me on the on the council, there's like I said, there are several members of that city council already that know the difference. They just need a leader to step up, stick their neck out. They're afraid. So, you know, you govern, you know, it's, it's interesting. I think 
politicians and your your representatives are governed. Sometimes the corruption is comes in two ways: either financial corruption or fear. And fear, they work off of fear in a lot of ways. I don't work off of fear. I have friends that tell me you don't have the fear chip, and I don't. You don't have the fear chip in your brain. I don't have it in my brain. We just do what's right. Let's tell the truth. And I hear you're also a shooter. I I, I was in there talking to my buddy about how uh, uh, women are such great Olympic shots because they're calm. And uh, and 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 you're like, hey, I'm I'm like Annie Oakley. (laughs) That's what I've been called. I like revolvers better than the semi-automatics. I I like it better. Well, a revolver is a very elegant firearm, and it also in a in a in a jam when you're all nervous and really need it. Mm -hmm. it, I think got a revolver right over here. I bet you do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just, you know. Bet you do. If I can't do it with seven shots, look at it's a little seven shot, 357. But uh, we've got some semi-autos, too. i got a couple guns, two or three. But uh, to, be, <laughs> uh, to be sarcastic, I want to talk about how folks get involved in your campaign. But what else is on that big list you've got there? I've always said it's time to start suing them for medicating uh, things that we know gives a seven-fold increase in cancer in boys. That's been known for decades. That's a fact. Uh, that is also toxic. I mean, it's, but but they're also on a defensive offense. Yes. They're saying, "Hey, let's put lithium in too. Let's put statins in." We're suddenly, you know, the White House science are is like, "Let's put stuff in the water to sterilize people." Suddenly, they're like, "You know what? We are putting stuff in your water. Sit down and shut up." Yeah, I think um, you know, with with regard to Austin, we're going to try the the council approach again. Get me on the council. There's a couple other members running for city council that if we could get us on there. You know, we do have a, a chance, a high, strong probability of getting fluoride out. Uh, if that doesn't work, there are lawsuit options, and Fluoride Free Austin is pursuing that, and there are different creative ways to do that. I know that California, the California lawsuit just got thrown out of court by the federal judge, and she said that just because the FDA hasn't approved this um, fluoride as a medication, you can't sue. Let me tell you how to get them. You get, <laughs> you, you get a sample. You find out what company they've got. You buy some because, you know, they, they keep all that secret. You test it when it's got the lead, the, mar- the mercury, and the radioactive isotopes in it. You got them. You don't go after the fluoride. You go after the impurity of what they're using. And none of them are pure. Right. I'm telling you, that's the Achilles heel. Well, that's, I that's- agree with you. I agree. There are a lot of approaches, and those are very creative approaches that haven't been done yet. So Yeah, you don't go the route they want with all their propaganda. You go, really? Is uh, uranium, is that good too? Yeah, because this stuff's not... It's It's over. You find the uranium in there and it's in there. It's over. Yeah, it's commercial grade. It's not pharmaceutical grade. Oh, where they lime that mine... Where they mine that limestone. I get tired in the third hour. Where they mine that, that's got the radioactive isotopes. It's It's got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of heavy metals in it. I mean, I I worked in the semiconductor industry for 17 years. We wouldn't use that stuff for our chips. Okay, why are we using it for our bodies? Amazing. Tell folks how they get involved in the campaign. Yes. Um, so we are, the election day is May 12th. Early voting in Austin starts April 30th through May 8th. And so we want people, if you can't vote on, on May 12th, get out in early voting. There's a bunch of early voting uh, events coming up in the next couple of weeks, but we need volunteers and I need donations. Our opponent is very wealthy. He's got a lot of, he's really tied into the developer and the subsidy system here in Austin, where we give a lot of subsidies to Apple Corporation, Formula One, Marriott Hotels downtown, where we're subsidizing all this growth. Yeah, they, 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 they give rich people our money. That's right. You know, and I've said, That's how the rich get rich, you're generally stealing people's money through government. Absolutely. And I've said, I'm not going to give our tax dollars to a bunch of rich corporations. I'm not going to do that. The other thing that can, the uh, opponent has said, he goes, we can't have one of those Ron Paul supporters uh, in on city council because I've got a Ron Paul bumper sticker on my car and he has pointed that out at every one of these forums where we get endorsed. Incredible. It's like it's bad. She, she's a libertarian. She wants freedom. Well, I say I'm an independent. She doesn't want us to forcibly medicate her. What a weirdo. Yeah, I mean, I'm an independent, and I go with what's right. Listen to that darn chemist pointing out this is a deadly poison. How dare, how dare she use her knowledge? Did yeah. you see our hidden footage inside the water treatment plant? It. I did see it. Good job. They're like, you can't tape in here. We're like, oh, we're going to. <laughs> Excellent job. So, yeah, so we've we've gotten a lot of flack for being a Ron Paul supporter. Oh, how, oh the extremism. And so I want every single Ron Paul supporter in Austin who's registered to vote, to come out and vote. I know we typically don't vote in city elections. Get out there. Get this guy out. Yeah, we get 60% turnout national, 8% local. Get behind Ms. Presley now, today. We're going to give you her website. We come back. If I give it out right now. Presleyforaustin.com, and we need donations. Presley, you bet. We're going to be right back. Donations, folks. Send her to Austin. 
sick of the globalist eugenicist control. The global engineers are racing on every front to implement their program of domination because they know we're waking up. Yes, CISPA passed the House. It may pass the Senate. They did it in a little sneaky vote. Nobody knew it was coming. So a lot of the House wasn't there. And then if they try to implement it, we'll file lawsuits. Congress wants to know it's at the new NSA base. They've been told, go fly a kite, go jump in the lake. It's happening on every front. The Congress is being told they don't matter by the bureaucracy. This is a lawless group. We're having victories against them trying to say your kids can't do chores if, you know, if, if they work on a farm. We're having victories. That's why they're rushing. Ahead. We're having vic victories on fluoride. Ron Paul talks about the huge awakening taking place. And on fluoride, that is one of the most important places. Bisphenol A is getting pulled out everywhere. When we take action, we can win. And that's why it's important for all of you to realize this is not hopeless. Doc, uh, again, uh, you're a Ron Paul supporter. All the Ron Paul people should get behind you because they've stolen the election from Ron Paul. He did win the first primaries. He's won by injecting real issues. Whether win, lose, or draw, you win. But it's time for all the Ron Paul people to run themselves. It's time to take this country back. They can't stop us all. I'm not an immoral person. I, and, and I've said on air, the globalists pose as patriots like Mitt Romney's going to do and get elected. What if we, I'm not saying this is good, but what if we played along, I'm not saying do this, as sleeper ops and acted like globalists to get in and then did what they did? I mean, it is getting to that point. I'm not saying we should do that, but but side issue. We've got about three or four minutes left. Uh, other points you'd like to make. Again, how do people get involved with you locally? Okay, so yes, we need volunteers. We need block walkers over the next week. So please email us through our contact page at presleyforaustin.com. And the other big issues with the city council, fluoride is a big issue, all right? TSA is a big issue. The subsidies that this council is giving to Apple Corporation, $8.6 million to create 300 jobs a year for the next 10 years. Alex, we could do this with our small businesses in town. I have a small business. I don't get a subsidy. You don't get a... I hear you. Oh, I'm, I'm trash. I'm trash. You don't get a subsidy. So don't you imagine $9 million could create 300 jobs a year in Austin pretty easily without giving it to Apple? Uh, is Apple going to put suicide nets up around their offices? No, I don't know about that. Are they going to bring slaves? You know, they have suicide nets at their other offices. Oh. In China, they have so many suicides. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I hear you. I hear you. No. Um, I, I wonder if the city Austin. will pay for the suicide nets. Because Al Gore's got to get every dime he can. So my opponent votes for all these subsidies, and he actually made a comment that the city needs to mitigate the risk for these corporations coming into Austin bringing jobs. And I say, no, you don't mitigate my risk as a small business, and I don't think we should be subsidizing these large corporations. It's ridiculous. So that's another big area that we're different from this from our opponent. And um, But I need people for block walking this week in Austin and donate to our campaign. We've got several ads going on and uh, we've got other stuff coming up in the next And your campaign's got quite a bit of momentum. You could win. We have we have more yard signs than the opponent by far, probably 10X. And we've got large signs. We've got ads on, um, I'm going to tell you, your, your competitor, Rush Limbaugh, we put some ads on his show. You mean locally? No, I'm, I'm on 590. Locally, 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 and we did. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm, I'm on 590. I'm not in competition we're, we're with hitting, Rush Limbaugh. We're hitting, we're hitting hitting the conservatives because this really resonates with conservatives stop giving our money out hold the, hold the city council accountable for the, the bad decisions financial decisions they're making they're raising our electric rates they could be cutting costs instead of just spending and taxing let's just to be clear i'm not in competition with limbaugh everywhere i'm put on up against him we're, we're getting better ratings than I him i know that so so I mean, my point is rush is fading off into a prozac induced or or, or is it oxycontin induced uh haze and and we hope he wakes up and becomes a real patriot and fights the new world order and stops denying it now that it's uh, open and plain view well good job on your work and i hope people get behind you doc thanks for coming in thank you alex you're wonderful thank you thank you you're wonderful one more time the website presleyforaustin.com all right presleyforaustin.com i'm alex jones with infowars.com and we've got a lot of videos and news posted right now at infowars.com a lot of breaking news remember big brother does not want people to see this site so please spread the word about infowars.com big show tonight seven o'clock info